How's it going everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I am finally jumping on the bandwagon of Chia Mining. I've been, uh, you know, you guys are probably seeing on, on YouTube, there's a lot of uh, fellow miners and YouTubers that are talking about it and how profitable it has been. And obviously there's a lot of caveats and kind of precautions that are coming with that. Having said that, I decided that I'm gonna take a stab at it and basically put together a build um, to uh, farm and mine and plot Chia. Uh, it's something that I've kind of, it's, in, it's been in the back of my head. I've always wanted to kind of have my own NAS server that's kind of big enough. Right now I have a, an eight terabyte kind of combined Synology uh, for my, uh, for my personal needs and for my business as well. I have like a 16 terabyte one this time It's gonna be a you know a pure uh, PC build or kind of like a farm a, a chia farm uh, That is dedicated to uh, to mine mine chia. So let's talk about uh, the parts uh, for the motherboard I'm gonna be using the Z490 from uh, MSI Z490 A Pro uh, It's a motherboard. It's a brand new motherboard that I've uh, had lying around kind of unused so I'm gonna put it to use I have the core i7 10700k uh, this one has eight cores and 16 threads should be an overclockable so it should be um, you know a capable uh, CPU um, for the cooler I just picked up whatever I can find the cooler master hyper t2 uh, locally uh, it probably should be enough for um, the 10700k um, for my my plotter, uh, I'm going to be using a one terabyte uh, NVMe from my W uh, from WD. Now I'm actually considering not uh, using this today and maybe waiting until tomorrow. I pre-ordered uh, Fire Cuda's, uh, more of a like um, more durable ones. So when it comes to plot uh, drives, you probably need to pick something that can handle a lot of I/O and a lot of dur durability over time. I read online that these uh, are not the best. I think they handle probably around 340 petabytes of uh, read write, but I'm not 100% sure. That's kind of what I read online. They're definitely more retail, not enterprise, and not made for this kind of work. Uh, but I picked it up because it was affordable, but I'm kind of regretting it and I might change it to the uh, Fire Cudas and I might up it from one terabyte to two terabytes. Um, this will probably do the work. This and the CPU are going to be doing most of the, most of the work and, and the RAM as well. Uh, the RAM, uh, I have 32 uh, gigabytes, uh, four sticks. These are 3000 megahertz. Uh, I also read online that uh, kind of the speed doesn't matter that much. Uh, anything 3000 and above should be more than enough. Our OS, we're going to put it on 120. We're going to you know, we're gonna put Windows, it's gonna be 120 GB uh, SSD. Uh, and the storage, so this is where we're gonna be storing our um, farms pretty much. So we plot them on the NVMe, and then once the plot's finished, they move to HDDs. Uh, I have six terabytes, each drive is six terabytes, I have four of them, so that's a total of 24 terabytes. Now, before I kind of get in, oh, and the most important thing is the uh, the case. This is the Define R5. I think the fractal design. Let me see. Define R5. And this was probably one of the most affordable um, cases that I uh, found locally. Um, the reason why I kind of like this case is because it has um, eight. Let me see. How do I open this? Okay, hold on. Very, very nice mesh design all the way around. This is a very nice case. Let's just place this over here. The reason why I picked this up is because of this. It has eight built in drives, drive base one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there's two 5.25 expansion slots over here, and I heard that you can also um, kind of put some expansion slots over here. It also uh, fits in an ATX motherboard, so not many kind of cases fit in a full-size ATX motherboard. And I believe this thing is gonna allow me, you know, allow it for some expandability in uh, in the future. So before I start kind of going into this, this is gonna be also a time-lapse uh, video uh, as usual. 
have to say that I'm very, very new to this. Like I've just watched a couple of YouTube videos and I got so excited. I was like, I'm just going to do this. Um, I didn't go all out. Uh, this was, I think a total of roughly, uh, about a thousand dollars Canadian. Uh, so it's a lot of money, but it, you know, it's in, 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 in the world of, of Chia right now, it doesn't get you a whole lot. Uh, I've looked at kind of the estimated time to win, assuming that I've plotted all 24 terabytes. So assuming that I finished the plot, which is going to take forever, uh, the estimated time to win is about two months, which is a lot. And that's pretty much a lottery at this point. So it's not like, you know, it's guaranteed or anything. But even, you know, either either way, I like the concept. I like the fact that I'm going to be able to tinker with this a little bit, kind of monitor and see what's going on, upgrade it over time. So I went ahead and, and, and did it. This will complement my GPU mining, which if you haven't noticed has been, the profitability has been very, very high as of recording this video. I'm recording this on the 9th of May, 2021. Um, but anyway, I don't want to waste too much time. Let's just get into it. We're going to put together the build. I'll probably not fire this up. Uh, actually, maybe I'll actually I'll fire this up. We'll install uh, everything, but I will wait until tomorrow and I'm going to replace these. So this, uh, you might see me in different clothes tomorrow. We'll see. All right, let's get going. folks i'm gonna end the video over here because i want this to be strictly a hardware video so to sum it up the parts that i've used are um you've got the msi z490a pro motherboard um and it's not necessarily a, because it's the best motherboard it's because it's something that i you know i was i had lying around pretty much and i had like no use for it uh, immediately I uh, use the i7 10700K as, as well. It's a fairly capable CPU um, and uh, I had it lying around. I used a um, fan cooler for 25 bucks or something from uh, Deepcool. Our power supply is a 750 uh, watt from, um, uh, this is from Rosewell. This is the one I use from uh, Rosewell. Our storage, uh, we're looking at one, two, three, four. Each one of them is six terabytes and I had an extra one terabyte drive lying around. So we have 25 terabytes in total for farming. For plotting, I'm using two. Uh, so yesterday I had mentioned, when I first started filming this video yesterday, I had mentioned that I'm gonna be using the WD SN551 terabyte. I changed my mind and I went and got a Fire Cuda uh, gaming series, the 520 series. I got two of them. Each one is uh, one terabyte. Uh, and I got these uh, because they have better durability for plotting, so they're gonna last me a lot longer. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. I got some like stock fans, nothing much. This case is the Define R5 from Fractal Design, in case you're, you're interested. It, it can hold up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight drives here, two extra ones in the base up top, and I think you can buy expansions to get some more over here. So I'm gonna end the video over here. I'm gonna have all the hardware listed below in the description so that you can kind of go, you know, you don't have to listen to the entire video or watch the entire video if you need to. And I'll add the price of purchase at the time of recording this video, which is 8th or 9th of May 2021. All right, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.